Hi, my name is Janet Parrish. This video demonstrates how to use the rounded corner actions for Photoshop CS, CS2, and CS3 available free on the blog at ddoosdigitalscrapbooking.com. Once you've got the actions downloaded and on your computer and loaded to your actions palette, go to your actions palette and highlight the ddo action. Twirl down the left uh, to the left the triangle to open the action set and you'll see the three different actions now today I'm going to show you the square that's the third one down all you have to do is click the arrow beneath at the bottom of the actions palette to start the action the action has a stop in it so that if you don't have your photo already open as you notice mine is you can stop the action go get your photo and then click at the bottom of the action palette to begin the play again since I have the photo up, I'm going to click Continue. And you see we now have another dialog box. This one tells you what you need to do in order to make your corners. I'm going to click Stop and I'm going to tell you. First thing I like to do, which isn't mentioned in the dialog box, is to reduce the opacity of the photo mat layer so that I can see what's underneath. Alright, I like that. And then I want to make sure I'm on my Move tool and I'm going to drag my square box over to a spot that I think I might like. How about over here? Now you see the size of this box. It will come in much larger on a smaller photo, of course, or a photo with a tighter resolution that's in a smaller size. So the mat may come in at different sizes. Don't let that alarm you. Just do your control T and that gets the bounding box around it and then with your left mouse you can click on the corner and be sure to hold down the shift key so that you can change the size of the box and keep its proportions its uh, aspect ratio okay I like that pretty well now I can still move this box around if I want to make a little bit more of adjustment now I commit the resizing by clicking the arrow at the top on the menu bar I'm ready now to continue the action by clicking on the play arrow at the bottom of the actions palette. There we go. Now we're through. There is the completed square rounded photo corners. I hope you enjoy using this action. Be sure you can come by my blog at ddoosdigitalscrapbooking.com to get your free download. Bye now.